Over the last few weeks of the college football season, the offensive tackle class is really starting to take shape. We are slowly starting to see some new names enter first round conversation, and one of those guys is West Virginia left tackle Wyatt Millam. Millam is a player who I absolutely loved coming into the year, and he has been incredibly dominant for the Mountaineers this season. For those of you who are new around here, Zach Frazier was maybe my favorite player in the draft class last year, and could this be a potentially another West Virginia offensive lineman entering the conversation of one of my favorite guys in the class? The answer is yes, and we're going to be talking about why in today's video. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Also, consider checking out my Patreon page, where for $5 a month, you guys will get exclusive access to my in-depth draft guide and big board with over 550 prospect spotlights and scouting reports. All free members will also be allowed to vote in weekly polls deciding on which prospects I will talk about in a future video. Leave a comment down below on this one and let me know which players you guys would want to see in future polls. And without further ado, let's take a closer look at Wyatt Millen. Millum has had unbelievable production over the past two years for the Mountaineers, and people are finally starting to recognize him. In 2023, he played in 754 snaps, allowing 9 pressures and 0 sacks on the year. In 2024, he's been even better, allowing just 5 pressures all season and 0 sacks while playing in 551 snaps. He hasn't allowed a sack since 2021 and has played over 2,000 snaps in his collegiate career. The first thing that really stuck out to me when watching Millam is his ability in the run game. He is an incredibly powerful and efficient blocker who does a really nice job of making big plays in the run game. It really showed when he would climb to the second level. West Virginia would pull him a lot across the line of scrimmage and he had good, good enough quickness to climb up into the second level and make a play, which you love to see. I also really like what Millam offers in pass protection. He's got really solid footwork, and he doesn't get beat around the edge easily. He also brings great anchor to the position as well, with a very strong base, and he's not a player who gets overpowered very often. Like I mentioned earlier, he has allowed just 5 pressures this year all season, and his pass protection is incredibly impressive. Hand placement is the best thing that Millam offers. He is constantly landing punches to the outside shoulders of defenders and making the first connection. The biggest area where his elite hand placement shows up is against pass rushers. I love players who leverage their hands and can counter pass rush moves and Millam is up there with Will Campbell as arguably the best in this draft class. He has active hands and he uses them to his advantage, which I absolutely love to see from him. Millam is a very sound offensive tackle prospect, but there are a couple of areas I need to see improvement on. The first thing that shows up is he has the tendency to lunge. It has showed up on his tape this year and it showed up on his tape last year, but he oftentimes will lose his leverage and his waistband is not the greatest either, and I'd like to see that improve. The biggest reason I think he does lunge so often is because he plays so high, and I think that's where a majority of his issues come from. If he could play lower to the ground with a lower center of gravity, I think it would help him generate more power and not force himself to lunge in certain situations. Millam does have good athleticism, but I wouldn't say it's elite. I think his lateral quickness is really average, and while he is a super sound player, I think given his lack of elite explosiveness and quickness, he may fall just a little bit as teams value the more athletic players. The last area of concern is his inside presence. It seemed like whenever Millam did get beat by pass rushers, he got beat to his inside shoulder. He didn't really have a good counter against inside rush moves, and earlier this season against Abdul Carter, he got absolutely cooked on a couple of plays to his inside shoulder that you don't want to see. Luckily, if you're going to get beat as an offensive tackle, the inside is where you'd want to get beat because you have help from your guard. 
But either way, you never want to get beat, and that is something that I do worry about for him in the NFL. Wyatt Millam is a really solid overall tackle. He's not the most athletic. He's not the biggest. Some people are going to complain about the arm length, but I thought it was functional enough to play tackle. But his production is undeniable, and he has some of the best overall tools in pass protection. Yes, he has some areas to clean up, but none of them to me are major concerns I have that will hinder him from being a top pick. He is my number four offensive tackle in the 2025 draft. It's not the strongest group, but Millam is starting to separate himself as one of the better overall tackles in this class. He is my number 24 overall prospect. Millam is a very scheme versatile piece given his traits and tools. He has taken snaps at both left and right tackle throughout his career, but I think he would work best in a pass-heavy offense that runs a lot of inside, where he could be used as a puller. He is one of the best pass blockers in this draft class, and I think a team that likes to pass the ball, likes to drop their quarterback back, is going to be huge for Millam at the next level, given his footwork and his hand placement. Whether he plays left or right tackle, I think a strong, heavy pass scheme would be best for him. My player comparison for Wyatt Millam is Minnesota Vikings right tackle Brian O'Neill. O'Neill isn't an elite athlete by any means, but has turned into one of the better run blocking tackles in all of football, who also is an elite pass protector as well, with powerful hands and a good overall base. Both of them offer versatility to play on both sides of the line of scrimmage, and I think Millam could play in a very similar type of role as a consistent run blocker and a very good pass protector as well, but given the lack of athleticism, he might not have the highest ceiling in the world. Wyatt Millam is a mean blocker. He lands a mean punch, has elite run blocking, and has some of the best footwork and hand placement in the entire draft class. The potential is there with him, and ultimately, I believe that Wyatt Millam will be a first-round pick in the 2025 NFL Draft.